music shop. We talk a little, pick a lot, and we're live from Oklahoma, USA. Please give it up for Don White. Here we are at Oklahoma Music Shop with Don White. Don, you've been a Tulsa legend for many years, a Nashville songwriter, but tell us some of the people you've written songs for in Nashville. Oh, uh, Oak Ridge Boys, Roseanne Cash. Wrote a lot of songs for people that didn't sell any records. Well, another <laughs> one of our inductees. No, wrote, they sold records, but. They did. Yeah. Uh, one of our inductees you wrote for, Mel McDaniel. Yeah. What song he did you write for him? He, wrote, he recorded a song called. Uh, and you can dance. I don't know if I never heard it, but <laughs> so uh, when did you start in in Tulsa? What about what time did, were you hitting the music scene in Tulsa? I was getting started about in early seventies, I guess. Um, I just left my job at Sinclair Oil Company. I'd been playing in bands in college and stuff, and and. Um, so I left my job at Sinclair and Kale was coming through town and he says, hey, White, what are you doing? And uh, 
I said, well, I'm getting ready to start my own band. Never had my own band, just played guitar in bands. I said, well, I don't have my own band. And he says, well, well, what kind of band you going to have? I said, well, I'm going to sing country music, but I'm going to play like we play. And he said, well, that sounds like fun. I'd like to play in a band like that. And I said, OK. <laughs> and he helped me start my first band. And That's great. Played guitar in it for three or four months. And went off and became rich and famous. He was already had some Clapton cuts and stuff, but that was interesting. I used to let him start as many songs, but I was just learning how to sing and stuff. I used to let him, J.J. Kale, start as many songs as he would because he'd never start them the same way twice, and I'd have to sing them different. And that was a good learning experience. Yeah. Paul Benjamin Say you like my loving This time That ain't enough I like a little more feeling Babe, I don't need Another part-time love I don't know what your plan is What your
Every week, the Oklahoma Music Shop is taped live right here at the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame in Muskogee, Oklahoma, USA. To find out more about upcoming events, go to www.oklahomamusicshop.com. Most recently, you were featured as vocalist on three tracks on Mayor Clapton's project, The Breeze. Can yeah, you tell breeze. us how that came about? Yeah, that's The Breeze, an uh, appreciation of J.J. Cale with Eric Clapton and Friends. That's a long title of that. Uh, well, J.J. Cale passed away in 2013, and uh, I was a pallbearer at uh, his services, and uh, Eric was a pallbearer there, and we got to talking. And he said he might ask me to be on. He's going to do a tribute. He called me up later. He says, well, I'm going to do it on my next album. He says, you should be on it. I said, OK. When, I, when, I, when he mentioned that he might want me to play on it, I said, man, if I can just get a rhythm guitar track on an Eric Clapton record, I'll be happy. And I ended up getting playing on three tracks and singing uh, lead on three tracks. Who else are on those tracks with you? Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, there's a. Uh, Eric, and uh, I'm doing a, uh, on the one that I'll be there if you ever want me, it's, it's actually an old Ray Price song. Mm -hmm. And it's, it was really, it's kind of the only kind of country sounding deal. And I thought, I didn't know if I was going to make the record, but I think he got a kick out of singing harmony with me. And then I sang a, kind of a duet with Mark Knopfler on a tune called The Train. And uh, 
I sang the sensitive kind in Eric and I traded guitar solos. That's great. Yeah. So there's some other Tulsa guys that accompanied you out there for that session. Yeah. Jimmy Markham, Dave T. Garden, Jimmy Carstein, um, Jamie Oldacre, Walt Richmond, and I'm probably leaving somebody out, but a bunch of us went out there, a bunch of Okies having, <laughs> we went in and uh, Eric said, Okies are invading the studio. <laughs> Jim Keltner accompanied you Jim on Keltner that was, yeah, he lives out there. Yeah. It's a hell of a deal. Located in the heart of Oklahoma is a place where the stories, songs, and memorable performances of Oklahoma's native sons and daughters live on. Oklahoma has a rich history in music and continues to make a profound impact on the world's music culture and music industry today. From Wanda Jackson to Carrie Underwood and Blake Shelton, Oklahomans have created music that is famous around the world. Come experience Oklahoma's music from past to present. The Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame in the heart of Muskogee, Oklahoma is where the music lives on. And every week the stage comes alive with the Oklahoma Music Shop performances. Please go to omhof.com for live event schedules and to become a member of the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame today.
Hey, we need bait for a batfish. Yeah, what do you use to catch a batfish? I'm sure you guys, a submarine? Right? A submarine? Fish off that. Yeah. Predominant torpedo. Its propellant was a mixture, basically, of 90% grain alcohol. These guys would be half cocked most of the time they are doing anything. Sound like you, Johnny. Sure does. Sure. Wow, you mean they had TV like this back then? They watched Three's Company. Three's Company? Yeah. It was on back then? Now, Brent installed it. You installed it? You look pretty good for your age. What's your secret? Well, we love our veterans, and this is a must-see for you. You need to come. If you haven't been to the Baptist, you need to come see the Baptist here in Muskogee. This one's not too good, though. Hi, I'm Johnny Rogers, and you're watching the Oklahoma Music Shop. You grew up in Tulsa. Who were your heroes growing up? Well, Kale was one of them, you know. Uh, but we really got into Ronnie Hawkins and the Hawks, which the Hawks later became the band, Levon Helm and Robbie Robertson and those guys. And Robbie Robertson's the only guy in the music business I ever wanted to be like. <laughs> they were great. And then we got into Freddie King and Albert King and all those blues guys. And, and uh, I like some of the early Glenn Campbell stuff and the Buck Owens stuff and uh, Merle Haggard when I started doing country music and guys like that. So any new records out coming up? Yeah, I've got a new one out. It's called Patchwork. It's um, got 11 songs on it. It's uh, Dave T. Garden. Called me up and said, we need a, you need a record out. And I said, he said, we don't have much time to, to make one, though. I said, well, let me go through my archives. So I found a couple of Nashville sessions and uh, a couple of songs I did in home by myself. And, and then we, re, we cut two more and ended up with 11 songs. And uh, it's called Patchwork. It's pretty good. It's OK. Now, where can we get this? Uh, you can get it on Amazon right now and uh, at my shows. And uh, uh, we're going to, it'll probably be on iTunes and CD Baby before we're through and uh, whatever else we can. I'll bring it to your house if you want me to. <laughs>
sung in churches and for thousands with their hands in the air i play for children and for old sitting still I'm gonna have myself a rocking chair and I'll rock and I'll roll open up a part of my soul I'll rock then I'll roll on down the road I'll rock then I'll roll open up For more information, check us out online at oklahomamusicshop.com.